For hydration by oxymercuration, demercuration, you'll need HgOAC2, and then you'll also need NaBH4. Um, another thing is you can use an alcohol or water, and then hydrogen will be an anti-addition. Now, the actual alcohol that's formed will be a Markovnikov addition, and the main reason why you use this mechanism is you, if you have to synthesize something um, and you want to prevent a carbocation rearrangement, you use this mechanism. So the actual molecule looks like this. HgOAC2 looks like this. And when it's in solution, it forms an equilibrium with this one. And this one's more uh, important to us, right? So if we have an, a random alkene, right, and then you have HgOAC, what will happen is it will form a bridge structure. It will form a bond here, and the radical will form a bond here. So you have a bridge structure. Now I said it would be a Markovnikov addition. So this is the tertiary spot, and this is the secondary spot. So water will attack right here. So if you imagine water attacking right here from directly into the page, then OH2 will stick out, right? OH2 is water. OH2 will stick out, and then it will push both um, the HG and the methyl group into the page. So but the methyl will go into the page, and HGOAC will also go into the page. Now, for NABH4, um, what it looks like is this. And what will happen is um, both of the electrons go to hydrogen to form hydride because boron's uh, stable on its own with six electrons and this hydride will attack the mercury because we don't want the mercury there so it will attack the the uh, mercury and so the electrons will go to the oxygen so after that um, the hydron I'm sorry the hydrogen will be attached to the mercury and so um, one radical will go to the mercury and one radical will go to the carbon so a radical will be left here so after that, uh, the radical, right, carbon radicals are not stable, so it will quickly attack the hydrogen, and therefore um, the hydrogen will be right here. And notice how the stereochemistry is exactly the same. Right here it was a dash, and here it, was, it is still a dash. And that's because this mechanism happens so fast that um, even though it... Uh, even though it seems like it, it leaves, right, it leaves far away, it actually happens so fast that um, it maintains the stereochemistry. And that's just because of the speed of the reaction. And so the final thing is that water will take away one of the hydrogens, right, or acid will, in the uh, solution, will take away one of the um, hydrogens, and then therefore you'll be left with OH. So the final product will be an alcohol formed and a hydrogen formed, and both of them will be anti to each other. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.